Whispers today is Thursday, April 22nd, 2021. The weather today will be sunny and cool. Today's lunch choice is cheeseburgers. Now for Dr. Sherritt's for morning meeting. Good morning, everybody. Happy Thursday. That means it's Thoughtful Thursday, where we get to be thoughtful and reflect. And today is something really fun. We're going to be listening to kids. That means you. And you're going to be talking about what it means and what it's like to be a military child. So I hope you enjoy this video because you get to be thoughtful about how you feel about being a military child. I think you're really going to enjoy this video. Good morning, y'all. Good morning, Mr. Good morning, Mr. Haley. Haley. How are you? Good. This is the month of the military child, so we thought we would go out to go to various classrooms and interview some students so you can tell us a little bit about what it's like. What it means to be a military child, what does it feel like? What does it mean to you? Because your um, like dad or mom or something like that, they go to the military and work really, really hard. You kind of have to like move around a little bit to like different schools, different countries, different states, part of the world because they, they, their jobs get sent you to different like places. Has your mom, is, is it your mom or dad that's in the military? Which one? Both. Both are wow. both. That's cool. So now I'm me, a double military child. You're a double sure. military child. Yes, you are. Are y'all military children? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. How do you know that? Be, because our dad's in the military, so we're in the military. Or moms. Or moms. It can be dads or moms. The parents did a lot for the world. So. Great answer. Great answer. So really, what, what I'm hearing you say right there is you're really, really proud of your parents. Is there truth to that? Has anybody, has anybody had a parent that's deployed, that's gone somewhere? Me. Who's who, who's had a parent that's been deployed? Have either one of y'all had a parent? Um, one time my, my dad was deployed to Japan. And when I was in Tampa, my dad went on a deployment. And I had to stay home with my mom and my sister. And I was a little bit sad because I had missed him. When I was a baby, he was a boy for eight months, and um, it still felt like he's still there because I was still like only a year old. And the ship he worked on was called the Wasp. Um, when my dad was deployed, he I was like four years old, and. My, and it was Christmas, he was gone on Christmas. So we had it. That was probably tough. Mm -hmm. In an American village in Japan, we, when he came back, we celebrated uh, Christmas, uh, late Christmas, because he wasn't there for Christmas morning. And my dad has been in the Marines for a long time. We always have to spend time together because uh, he's only been deployed one time. So when you're when you're when your dad's deployed, do does your do your do your responsibilities change? Yes. So everybody has to kind of step up a little bit to take place of the person who's not there. Is that safe to say? Yeah. Who in here's moved? Who's moved? Who's moved? I moved like. I've moved six times. You've moved how many times? Six. Six times. What place did you like the most? Um, I liked Texas more. And something that was actually really exciting is when my dad was stationed in Ohio, my mom, I was born in Ohio. I wanted to add, um, I, I like it here because um, like I'm supported like you, everybody else in the school is like supporting every kid and everyone in the school and stuff. I like it more. Because you have to move different places that you've never been before. Have you moved? Yes. Do you know how many times you've moved? I think I've moved three. 
You think you've moved three times already and more responsibility. Isabel? I've gone across country twice already. On moves? Uh-huh. That's, that's amazing. Do I you don't remember any of the places you went? Mississippi, Texas, Arizona, and in Arizona we got to see the Grand Canyon. Nice. Um, I've seen the Lucy statue. That's really cool. So you like that part of it. Moving's neat, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It can be sad but happy at the same mm -hmm. time. Yeah. There's yeah. a ton of awesome places. I have. The aquarium, I saw a blue whale. Mm -hmm. The big whale shark, right? Yeah, that's yeah. That, those places are awesome. Yeah, they are. The Sherry Castle. Mm -hmm. I moved to here from California, which I moved from here. Got it, got it. So how many times have you moved? Is that your first big move? I've done two moves to, to the opposite place. So I went from, I was born here, moved to California, then moved back here. If you could trade it, if you could trade being just a regular child, would you trade it or would you stay being a military child? Stay being a military stay, child. Stay. If you ask this question when we weren't military children, we would say that we wanted to stay, but uh, like I am a military child, so I would want to stay. Like each, either way, I think they would. Want, they, uh, if you ask like the same question, just the other way around. Do you? And I get what you're saying. I totally get what you're saying. But you're also saying because they don't know the difference that they probably would pick what they have. But you feel like yeah. that you, this is what you would pick. Yeah. Do you feel like? Um, do you feel like being part of a military family? Do you feel like you help support your your mom or dad, whichever one or both, whichever one's active duty? Though, do you feel like you're yes. part of the supporting net? Yeah, and I'm happy when I do you see my dad. Like, and I feel like I want to be in the military when I grow up because, like, um, because I had lots of ancestors who fought in the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, and lots of other wars. Today we think about how we can celebrate and take care of the earth to celebrate. Green Team is sponsoring our third and annual litter cleanup challenge. We hope you will think about participating. Everyone who participates will be entered into a drawing for a cool eco-friendly prizes. Yeah. You can pick up trash, trash anywhere, you, your neighborhood, the, the beach, the park. Make sure you follow safety rules like wearing gloves or using a tool to keep things germ-free. Be careful not to pick up sharp or rusty objects with your hands. Only pick up trash when the grown-ups in charge of Sue says it's okay. Last year and the year before, our school picked up 52 bags of trash. Let's see if we can beat that record this year. So an email was sent home to all the sponsors with a flyer with all of the information about the litter cleanup challenge. We hope that lots of you will participate and Ms. Leanne's going to give you a little more detail. On that Google form, you will go ahead and log in how many bags of trash you picked up, where you picked it up, and if you don't have a Gmail account, you can use your student's Gmail account with Dodea, or you can always text a picture to your teacher. Just give the information and let them know where you picked up all your litter and how many bags of litter you actually picked up. Let's get clean for Earth Day this year, and let's beat the 52 bags that we had before. Yay, we can do it. Also on the Google form, there is a place to upload a picture if you'd like to have your picture shared. You guys have a great time out there and be safe. Happy Th Earth Day. Happy Earth Day. 
And now for our JPS mission statement, I have three friends that are going to be helping me today. Let's say it together. JPS Kids, Kids soar, soar Higher, Super Problem Solvers, solvers Outstanding Writers, Accomplished Readers, readers ready, ready for success. success. And now for a success equation, they're going to say that with me too. Let's say it. Hard work plus resiliency plus teamwork equals success. Thank you. Bye.